Good early afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come on back tomorrow. Still working hours, mm -hmm. but uh, I feel good. Yeah. Today's one of those days. So I've been getting up like early around, well not early, but like I've been getting up and running something for work at like 7, between 6.45 and 7 a.m. And then I usually like doze back off on the couch until like my team meeting at 9.30. But today I didn't do that actually because I needed to get some work done. Um... So I, I feel productive. Like I had a breakfast oatmeal, I made coffee, yeah. I got that stuff done. And so it's been a busy day for me, but I've gotten a bunch of stuff done compared to the past couple of weeks of being super busy and like making progress on one big thing. Yeah. As for me, I decided today, or like really yesterday, that like I, I need a little bit of a routine, like not an overwhelming routine, but something that'll make me feel good. And so... I decided that I'm gonna like start my day now after my eight hours of sleep, my meditation and stretching, and get the vlog going right away. And I got the vlog, everything situated by the vlog, by two. And so I'm hoping like to set a goal to like get it done earlier each day. Um, and I'm gonna start working on our book for Ooh. the World Marathon Challenge. Oh, but first I'm getting the picture edited that we're gonna have printed, and then all of those pictures will be done. Here's my delectable lunch. It's hummus and spinach wrap and pretzels and this doggy is trying very hard to get it. Hummus is not for puppies. So a question that we frequently get like in a lot of our live streams and just overall is what Disney YouTubers do we watch? And really, like regularly, we don't watch a ton of YouTube just because we are so involved in like going to the parks and whatnot ourselves. So like if there's something of particular interest, we'll watch it, but not super, super regularly. But before we moved here, and that was the case, I really like this channel called Thingamavlogs. They are no longer um, putting up videos, but they a lot of them have their own YouTube channels. and. Sarah Sterling, who she's not really as active on um, YouTube anymore. She actually works for Disney Imagineering. Um, she has a series called Down to Disney, and I always watch it. She hasn't had a new episode in a really long time. But she just posted today, and it's Finding Nemo, which is Peter's favorite. And so I'm really excited to watch this. Oh my gosh, we're finally doing it, and I got a coupon. It's good until May 2nd, so if you need photos printed, 40% off. Ready for this, ready for this, ready for this. And I don't even have to work on anything at all tonight. Nothing to worry about, nothing to work on, nothing I could potentially work on later that's concerning for tomorrow. This is closed and staying closed until tomorrow morning. The work day is over, yeah. Taking a little bit of walk, but you know how Eve goes on walks. She eventually gives up and just lays down. Sarah's making herself a sloppy joe. I'm having a sloppy joe <laughs> uh, burrito. Okay. It's not dinner without a pickle, right? Right. All right, 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 all right. We're gonna give you a sneak peek, but this is pending approval and pending finalization, and it's only on the third page of 12. So here we go, here's the cover, and then here's pages, like the inside cover and page one or the third page of the print explaining like what we are what we're doing what's acs and everything that's from world marathon challenge last year so there's where we're at there's a little scheme layout of what we're going for more facts fingers and pictures eve is really hot we have to give her water you know how we do in this house she loves drinking out oh sorry she loves drinking out of my mickey cup I have to go freshen it up after this. Sarah and I got, got, got invited to something that's not something we usually do. Yeah, it's a Canadian thing. Haha, <laughs> you don't know how happy you just made me say that. We're gonna play trivia. Yeah, apparently Dom and his- guest stars. Yeah, Dom and his posse in Canada, they do trivia t twice a week? Yeah. We got invited to join 
for a yeah, special guest appearance. Dom and Victoria are the hosts, and you get to bring in like a guest team, and we're the guest team. So they're all happy having on the go. I have no contacts. An hour and a half. But we, don't... we do get an extra point if we're wearing a Disney shirt, which I oh, they said was. shirt specifically. I think so. Okay, I'm just gonna stick with my hat. Um, but we need extra points. Do we get two points if we're wearing a shirt? I don't know. They didn't really tell us like like what all kind right, of trivia. All right, I'll change my shirt. Don't know anything. Though. Right, and we're not. We really get extra good. points if you're drinking a margarita. Does my kombucha count? No. And we don't have a margarita for me to make. Oh, she's mad I'm on the bed. Go get him. Can you lift her up here? I'm, I have a pillow on me. So when I chase Eve, sometimes she hides behind this opening in our bed. Behind our bed. Oh, she just scattered away. She thinks, she thinks I can't get her when she's back there. But I totally can. All right, here's our setup. We got that, that ring light. We're gonna use Sarah's laptop to log into the Zoom call. We got a one bonus point if we have Mickey clothes, or shirts on, or Disney shirts on. Mm -hmm. Is it Mickey or Disney? Disney. Okay, because I got an Epcot, Future World. Disney clothing okay. item. So I have a hat here. We were concerned because we didn't. We were just talking about it, and I wasn't sure if, if the hat would 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 count. So I put on my Future World shirt and hat. Sarah's got a Mickey shirt on. Um, you get an extra point if you're drinking margaritas, but we're not drinking margaritas. And I'm nervous because we don't know what kind of. All we know is that like we text our answer to Dom. Yes. Which is good because like I I don't is it a race? I don't know. I don't know. We if gotta get race, we gotta get I'm situated nervous. though. Yeah. Okay. We got two minutes. Hello everybody, my name is Dominic, Dominic Eveco, part of the Dominic and Victoria Eveco team. Today you are about to experience something like you've never experienced before. <laughs> Balls will be thrown everywhere, they'll hit you in the face, and even some other things might hit you too. We're not going to talk about that. But today you're about to experience a trivia experience like you've never ever experienced. You're going to really experience it. That's been about four experiences that I just said, and that might even be a trivia question. So sit back, hold on tight, and enjoy this ride. I have four ground rules for you. One, no cheating, as always. Two, no using your phone. Three, no be cheating. No be cheating. 60 seconds to answer the question. That's it, we want to have timely fun. And four, have fun. No cheating.
Thanks for having us. Um, I call shenanigans on the Eve Coast because I thought it was Disney themed trivia. The whole thing? I thought it was going to be greatly weighed into consideration of the questions. The first one, the first question was. First question was, and it was splash, splash, splash. It was Splash Mountain. Song of the South was the answer, but that was the only one. Um, we did really good otherwise. Yeah, the first like half of it, we did really good. Yeah. And then we started know. falling apart yeah. with some like some, sports and like history. The, no, not. Well, there was a horse one. And then there was a Tonight Show. Yeah, who were the seven got, hosts? We only got Jimmy Fallon. Who were the seven hosts we of the Tonight Show? We only got one right. And then who were the last two horses to Triple Crown? We got and that wrong. the Clue one I should have had, I saw the wrench in my mind when I first was thinking. But then when we were trying to get that last one, I could not remember. Iron Man 3. So we're going to bed early tonight. Um, so Sarah can get up earlier tomorrow and still get her eight hours. And because tonight's the first night, I'm like five weeks that I don't have to stress about doing work stuff. So we're going to start watching Iron Man 3 because it's our next film, but I don't think we're going to watch the whole thing because it's two hours and 11 minutes. So we're going to get started with it and then go to bed, but um, a lot of fun doing trivia. They do it two two nights a week? Yeah. Um, so we might join them again. we got to know, but tomorrow we have a full Disney trivia yeah. with American Cancer Society, and we, we have to post that we're going to live stream that. We are? Yeah. I didn't know we were going to live oh, stream Oh, yeah, that. we're live streaming it. <laughs> All righty, the 28th message of the day, turn your wounds into wisdom, Oprah Winfrey. We stopped Iron Man 3, it's 11.22 because we want to go to bed before 11.30, um, but we're just getting to a good part, so um, I'm excited to finish it tomorrow. <laughs> I'm stressing because we've never stopped a video like that, <laughs> But and we stopped it at like it's a, it's a little over two hour movie, mm -hmm. Iron Man 3, and we stopped at like a little over an hour in, like right as everything is coming to like, we're probably we can like- We watch movies during the day. We can, yeah. We're like 15 minutes away from the climax of the movie, I think. Yeah, we're like getting the beginning there. of it. Yeah. Stressful. <laughs> we'll dream about it. It is good to be home. It's good to be home. Right as we get ready for bed, Eve literally takes my spot. And the queue is way too. Looks like I'm sleeping on the couch tonight. <laughs> we know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>